Hey everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I am lost in the nether. <laughs> That's how we're starting up off this episode. Um, so, basically we're just gonna get right into it, hopefully if I find my way out of here. Um, but the plan for today is to actually make, um, a big, uh, guardian farm with the Hackster. Um, we're gonna, like, collaborate on this project, and it, we're hopefully gonna get it done this episode? I don't know, but let's go meet up with him as soon as we can. So we're both here over um, at a little um, guardian, what's, what's this thing called? Water temple? Water temple. It's kind of close to spawn. Uh, we're here at the Hackster. Um, Ocean Monument. Ocean Monument, thank you. Um, and we're going to try to take it down. Because why not? <laughs> so let's go. I'm just going to fly in. Kill some elder guardians. Yeah. Oh, all right. All fancy with the rocket flying. I suck at this. I hope you know that. <laughs> and if I fail, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. I did blow a hole through it though, and I see the big guardian. So this is going really well. We already got the big elder guardian, and now we're just trying to take out these little guys. And I think there's two more though that we have to take care of. Oh, that's Dang. not good. Oh, I just died. I just died. I have all my stuff back, so that's good. <laughs> all right, died. so we've killed all the ender guardians now, so we can just, um, yeah, break blocks now, which is cool. So we made it out safely, kind of. We did a. Uh, we died quite a bit, both of us. But we did make it out safely in the end, which is good. Um, and all three of them are killed, which means we can break blocks and whatnot now. Uh, I did not see any sponge rooms though, which is not good. So we might have to fill it all this in with sand to drain the ocean, which would be hard. Be simple. <sighs> but we gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm on my way to the desert um, so that we can get a crazy amount of sand so we can clear out all the water so I think it's time for a little five sorry five person third person don't know what I was just saying uh, time-lapse of me gathering sand which should be fun we have like one two three four five six chokers that we want to fill up fill up with sand so <laughs> I want to bring in more oh dear <laughs> it's a lot of sand so in this third person time-lapse I wanted to talk to you guys about my base um, because if you remember last uh, last episode, yeah, um, I decided to totally change my base idea because I didn't want to copy what Grim was doing, which was basically a mansion. Um, and it was going to be like kind of the same feel. Not exactly. I was going to use like more different blocks and like wait till 1.16. Uh, but I decided to go against that. Maybe next season we'll do something like that. Um, but this season, I really just want to go for something that's kind of unique. Um, and I was like, yep. We're definitely going to accomplish something unique. And then I was like, wait, I have this really cool idea that I really want to do, but it's close to Mumbo Jumbo's base. <laughs> um, so I, I'm still going to go with it, though, because it's going to be a little bit different. Um, and I'm just going to really try really hard not to make it the same at all. Um, but there are still going to be kind of like towers around it, which I know is Mumbo's big thing right now. Um, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully it'll look totally different. Uh, but my idea for my base will be to do basically a large pond in the middle of it filled with like two gigantic koi fish and I think it's gonna look so cool if I pull it off correctly and I'm talking like really large like huge and then just have like a bunch of buildings kind of coming up around it um, I don't know if they'll be specifically towers but definitely like some sort of like big architecture buildings sort of type thing um, and it's gonna be in the desert so it's gonna be kind of like an oasis um, and that's actually why we're building this guardian farm is because I really need the drops because I really want um, to make it out of prismarine, dark prismarine, uh, prismarine brick, all the prismarine, um, and sea lanterns. So that's going to kind of be our uh, color palette and hopefully it will turn out really good. I'm really excited to get started on it. Uh, this idea, like, I'm so happy. I'm so excited to start on it. Well, I did have to do a little bit off camera because I didn't feel like getting my spectator account up again. But you guys saw most of it. Um, but yeah, we have six shulker boxes of sand now, which is awesome. So we're going to go drop that off at the Guardian Farm. And then I think we're going to call it a day. Um, but we'll definitely be back on tomorrow to start clearing out the big temple, which should be very interesting. Slightly nervous for that, though. Well, the hacks are outdid me, that's for sure. I think there's like 
9 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, minus my 3. So yeah, he he got a 9. <laughs> and he even set up a nice little thing over here. <laughs> Alright, well I did contribute. We have like 15 sugar boxes filled with sand now, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, we should be able to start taking out the temple and then clearing it with sand. And it looks like the hexer is already laid out where we have to start putting the sand in, so I will definitely be getting to that tomorrow. So progress update. Um, yeah, me and the hexer have been working quite a lot. Um, it's mostly been the hexer, not gonna lie, um, but I was like working on my laptop because my brother was actually streaming. Um, link in the description to his stream Twitch account. Um, but we've been working for a long time and we have not gotten very far at all. Um, and that just shows you how large of, a, of an area this is. We're going to need a lot more shoulder boxes of sand. We're already like halfway through and we're like mm, one eighth of the way there, <laughs> which is delightful. Um, I'm still hoping to get this thing done in three days though, hopefully. So I don't think that will get it done this episode. Actually, I'm can guarantee that we're not going to get it done this episode. Um, I should be actually editing today, but you know what? We're recording instead, which is great. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing another third-person time-lapse. I'm sorry for all the third-person time-lapses, but yeah, I think that this is a good thing to time-lapse just a little bit of. So now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the farms ideas that I want to do in this season. Um, there's four farms that I really want to do this season in like the next few weeks, next few episodes. Um, and those farms are, drumroll please, um, a villager breeder slash uh, town hall, not town hall, trading hall, um, an iron farm, but I want to make it in the end. It should be really like effective and whatnot. Um, a wither skeleton farm. Uh, we'll get more on that subject in just one second. Um, and then the last one is a gold farm. And I have like a little thing that I want to say about the, all of them, except for the uh, the trading hall. I You guys already know that I want to do that, and there's not much to say about that. Um, but starting off with um, the wither skeleton farm, um, I actually really want to make that into com a community project. So like basically have most of the people on Tazcraft like make this really amazing farm. Um, kind of like the one that Escal made, maybe exactly the one that Escal made, where it's like super effective. Um, because that will supply plenty of people with, uh, the Wither Skeleton Heads. And personally, I don't, f I'm not really focusing on shops this season. I don't feel like I need that many diamonds. I'm okay being kind of poor this whole season, honestly, as long as I have enough to buy rockets for the most part. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to change into a shop. I just want it to be effective. I just want to focus on my base, not on diamonds. Um, and then also the gold farm, I really want to work on that with Haxter, but I'm not sure. I haven't asked him about it yet. Hopefully he'll be like chill with working on it with me. Um, and then last but not least is the iron farm and that one I really want to make by myself, but make it a community farm. Um, because it's actually going to be at the end dimension. I'm not positive I'm doing this design, but I really want to make like the super effective one in the end where you can get like a double chest full in one hour to like 10 double chest fulls in an hour um, and that sounds amazing to me so I do want to make it by myself but because it's going to be in the end and people are going to be seeing it every time they're there and also once again I'm not focused on making diamonds I thought I'd make it into community farm um, which is going to make the hack students ex very sad because they're making diamonds but you know I think that people would enjoy it um, so yeah, thank you guys for the little time ups and back to the video. Progress is coming along quite nicely on the Guardian farm actually. Um, so if we take a little look, yeah, you guys can see that there's been a lot done since the time lapse. Um, that's because the Haxter has been on and he's been, yeah, he's been doing a lot. Um, and also I've been helping out quite a bit too. So together we make a pretty great team on this, I say. Um, but yeah, so this is going to take quite a few days to get done. Um, and this video is being posted, like, in two days, I think. So, <laughs> um, we're not going to get it done in this episode. But there is actually a mini-game going on right now. Um, and if we look at the little tab bar, you can see that, I don't know how to pronounce their name, uh, Kibin, K uh, K Kibin, I don't, I don't know, um, has, like, 111 deaths. And that's because the game of death is a game invented by... Um, crazy pig carrots, and basically whoever has the most deaths by tomorrow um, wins like 32 diamonds and a elytra, which I mean like 
that's more than double the amount of diamonds I have. So I want to do that, and I'm pretty sure that contraptions are allowed. So I'm just going to make a killing contraption with an auto clicker and probably just spam the chat all night. So yeah, I'm sorry to whoever's online. Um, so let's go get started on that though. Well, this is what we have and it's working super effectively. We literally just have a bed underwater. So we drown with a bunch of guardians surrounding us. So yeah, now we just got set up an auto clicker. <laughs> So it is the next day and I've decided to postpone this video because I really want to actually like get this done and also do other stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give myself another week to work on this. I'm so sorry guys that I'm, I didn't post last week. Um, but yeah, so basically this is what it's looking like because the Hackster has been absolutely incredible and doing so, so, so much work. We're more than halfway there guys. Um, so I'm going to do my part and get quite a few more layers in. Um, but also, it's good to mention that I have uh, 2,094 deaths. <laughs> um, I've been busy. <laughs> I've been busy drowning, but I do want to make like a proper contraption later that does fall damage instead, uh, because that's much more effective. So yeah, that's what we're going to do a little bit later. It would appear that Random is challenging me to the most deaths. And he's almost winning. Well, actually, he's about, like, halfway there. Um, but the thing is that he's dying faster than I am, so he's probably set up, like, either lava or falling, like, really far. But here's the thing. I'm gonna make a falling thing, or lava. I think lava would be easier. Um, and I'm literally... You're never gonna see me not on this server dying. You're not. <laughs> For a whole week. Just saying. Just letting you know, random, you're not gonna win this thing. Because I'm here to take you down. Please ignore the fact that I have like 1 billion levels. Um, so we're in our little testing world and I'm just going to do a quick test to see exactly how long it takes for me to burn in lava. So let's get my little watch out. And 3, 2, 1. I'm not burning. Oh, there I go. Okay, we're going to try that again. Okay, 3, 2, 1, go. Why am I not burning? Ugh. Okay, that's about six seconds though. I see. So, basically, this this world has like a grace period when you respawn where you can't take damage. I've heard about this, but my server doesn't. So lava might be our best bet compared to fall damage because if I just go in here um, with like full health and I do game mode survival, that's like maybe three seconds. But if I do fall damage, so keep in mind, I do have that time that time where like I, I cannot get hurt, where I'm invulnerable. Um, but it, this works really well. So if we go into game mode survival, and let's just pretend that I respawned right here. Oh, my bad. Okay, but I will respawn in the right place. It will just take a second. Yeah, it won't work in this testing world, but I think that's the easiest and fastest way to kill myself. So we just want to copy this, it's like 23 blocks high, and just put it in um, our, our server and just die a lot. <laughs> so I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's all I need. So now I already set my spawn point up there, I have everything taken off of me, so I just gotta kill myself. And then I should spawn up there and the contraption should start. So that should be fun. Alright, moment of truth. Please work. Yes! Okay, there is a little bit of lag, but besides that, it works really, really well. So I'm happy. So here's the problem I'm having. Let's see if I can replicate it. Uh, but basically, sometimes this string will act as if there's still an entity like in it if that makes sense so like it'll still be powering um the piston even though it shouldn't be um and that obviously causes it so that it doesn't work correctly um but it looks like it's not happening as of right now but my plan is i think that's because um yeah here we go i think that's because it's unloading these chunks after i die and when i come back it gets all messed up and whatnot um so the thing is though, spawn chunks are always loaded, um, and I'm just going to go really high up in the air so no one sees, and then I'm just going to build this, and it should hopefully work. If not, that sucks, but hopefully it will. 
Well, I think the only thing left to do is just leave this running for a few hours and make sure that it doesn't do that thing where it just like stops killing me. Um, so yeah, I, hopefully this works out well. <laughs> What's even more exciting is it looks like I'm going actually a little bit faster um, than random in dying, which is really cool, which means that even if we're on at the exact same time, I'll still be getting more deaths than him. Okay, so I got a message saying that um, random gives up. I don't really trust him, but also I do have stuff that I need to get done. Um, the thing is though, I didn't, I, I, I'm stupid and I didn't think about, oh, okay, that worked out well. Um, the fact that if I, I if I, uh, uh, to grab my water bucket, um, to have my water bucket with me, I have to, like, you know, c die up here with it. Um, and that was, would have been confusing because, like, I had Elytra and whatnot on. Um, so hopefully, though... Okay, I can't do this. Okay, there we go. So, hopefully, we can get into that little thing of water down there. And we'll be good. Yes! <laughs> oh, that was... That's perfect. Okay, great. So we're down safely now and we can just go grab our stuff and work on what we actually need to get done. And with this block, this whole thing has been filled in with sand and cleared of water. That took forever. That was literally like five days straight of just filling in this large, large area. And Haxter even did most of the work, believe it or not. So, <laughs> um, yeah. But we, it's, it's finally done, and also the inside's all drained. Yeah, I should have recorded that. That was all me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been doing a lot of work lately. So if we go throughout this little little thing, I cleared this whole whole area with just sponges, with three sponges. That's it. Nothing else. <laughs> Ah, it's been fun. It's been a fun project. I'm ready for it to be over. Okay, I know, I know that last project update was here. Now we're here. Just, just go with it. Don't, don't think about it too much. Anyways, um, but the good news is, um, I think that I actually am the winner of the game of deaths because if we look, I have so many deaths and no one else are no one else is like competing with me at this point so i'm talking to pig right now and i think i just won <laughs> well uh yeah pig said just go take the diamonds at this point so um all this is mine 33 diamonds i thought it was 32 wow okay great and an elytra which is awesome so let's head back and i just realized that this whole time my recording has been zoomed in just a little bit i'm sorry about that that's about like that's i zoom it in a little bit for time lapses um, it's fixed now, so just a quick little apology. Anyways, um, yeah, progress on the Ocean Monument farm is actually coming along really, really nicely. Um, as you guys just saw, it's basically all taken care of now. Um, so I'm just making the farm itself, which I don't think is actually that hard. Um, by the way, if you want to make this farm for yourself, there's a link in the description below. My only suggestion would be to use sponges. Find an Ocean Monument with a bunch of sponges, check in like creative with the same seed if you really, really want to. Um, but yeah, without sponges, kind of, it, it, it's, it's a pain. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do suggest making a farm if you're, uh, making this farm if you're thinking about making a farm, because it looks really good. So this is, this is the design that I'm going to go for on all of the four corners and probably also the bottom. Um, it's really, really basic, but I didn't want it to just be like a solid wall of boring, so I did that. <laughs> So we did run out of Dark Prismarine, so <laughs> yeah, these are not going to be finished until we get more Dark Prismarine, um, but that's okay. Uh, but I did make the nice hole and whatnot. We don't have to do the roof quite yet, I don't think. I'm not positive. I don't know what exactly this farm's going to look like in the end. Um, but yeah, it's, it's coming along great, so we just got to finish up the farm part, which I think is a lot of gates and water. <laughs> now about the uh, game of had the game of death whatever it was um <laughs> the diamonds i actually gave all of them except for one to the hackster because he worked so hard on uh filling in the water um i really i did a decent amount of work but he was really um the star of the show when it came to doing it um and that's not because like i didn't want to help is because i was just seriously busy um but yeah he took over and he did a phenomenal job and i appreciate it a ton because this is getting this Building this farm is going to go a long way into making our base. Um, so I just gave him 32 diamonds, you know, I 
it seems like a lot, but also he did a lot of work, so I appreciate it. Um, and then I think I'm actually going to take the Elytra and give it to Random, um, because he also was part of the competition, and I think that he was doing it for the Elytra. I'm not positive. Um, obviously the diamonds are amazing. Um, but yeah, I really don't need it, because I already have two Elytras. One is my spare, one's the one I'm using right now. Um, and, you know, why not just spread good fortune around the server? So I think we'll go do that soon. Well, after about seven stacks of wood later, not planks, of logs <laughs> later, um, yeah, we have all the fences in, or sorry, gates. And we also have the killing chamber almost ready. We just have to add hoppers and chests and lava. And then this thing is ready to go. Well, I logged off because I had to go really badly. Um, and the Hexter came in and finished off the farm, which is awesome, and he also decorated everything, which is really cool. I don't know how long he's been AFK for, but we have this much, and we finally have a food source. It's about time. And as you guys can see, there's been quite a few new shops have popped up at spawn, which is awesome. And yeah, we're gonna pop up another one. I know we still have to stock that one, um, and hopefully I'll get to it. Mm -hmm. Those words, I don't know what those are. Anyways, uh, we will hopefully stock that soon. Um, but first, I want to make one more uh, shop for our 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 blocks and whatnot <laughs> uh, for sea lanterns, prismarine, dark prismarine, all that. Um, and I don't exactly know what I want to do, but I obviously want to incorporate most of those blocks. Um, so let's come up with de with a design. So me and the Hexter though really wanted to name this shop um, Oceans Are Us. Um, so we have an R. We're gonna do like a nice little O. We're gonna have like kind of up, and then, like it's gonna be going at like a oh that's a zombie going at a diagonal. Um, so yeah, hopefully it looks good. I'm not typically good at making shops, but I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that this will be good. <laughs> I have no words. This sucks. <laughs> but you know what? I stuck with it, and it turned out okay. <laughs> this is what we have so far. It's not my favorite shop that I've made, but I think it will do. So I just want to replicate that there um, to fill in the empty space. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good. It's quite thin inside, um, and I might even expand it actually. Uh, but it will give us plenty of room to work on what we need to work on, sell what we need to sell. Um, and also, it's really tall, so I'm planning to do like a nice little chandelier coming down from the ceiling, and I think that that will add a really good touch to it. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to replicate that over there really fast. Well, personally, I did not stock this. It was the Hackster who did it. Um, we don't have much right now, but hopefully we'll get more, and hopefully we'll be able to do something with like the empty space. Um, I made the chandelier, it's not that noticeable. I wish that it was a little bit larger. I did not come up with this design. Do you think I'm smart? No. Uh, I looked it up on YouTube and link in the description, hopefully, maybe. Um, but I think that's all we have time for today. But, 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 before we do any of the sponsor stuff, this is what the outside looks like. Okay, that's it. And now, Sticky Pistons, yeah. Sticky Piston is the Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out, and I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because, like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. 